Uh, they didn't uh, they didn't blackball game when he child molested that 15, 16 year old girl that he just got sued for. That nigga fucked the baby. Hey, that's crazy. I didn't even know that. Welcome back, everyone. Today we have something truly wild for you. Brace yourselves for clips of Charleston White dropping some controversial bombs that are bound to make you sit up straight in your chair. Like, what? In today's video, we're diving headfirst into the chaos that ensues when Charleston White decides to troll an angry person or when Charleston White decides to troll people online. Trust me, the reactions are priceless and you won't want to miss a second of it. Dealing with figures like Charleston White can be a roller coaster ride. You never know what you're going to get or what to expect, especially when it comes to the reactions they provoke. It's a challenge navigating through an unexpected twist and turns that follow. Picture this, Charleston White with his signature smirk deciding to test the waters with angry people online. What follows is a mix of confusion, frustration, and pure comedy as people try to make sense of his antics. It was the, would you take five hundred thousand dollars or or dinner with Jay Z? Man, give me five hundred thousand dollars, Jay. -Z. Imagine that you got a choice between five hundred thousand dollars and a dinner with Jay Z. Which one is you taking? Let's hear what Charleston White has to say about this. Thousand dollars or or dinner with Jay Z? Man, give me five hundred thousand dollars, Jay Z. You uh telling Jay Z where he can go, and you taking the five hundred thousand dollars, or you having a dinner with Jay Z so you could look in his eyes and stare into his soul and look at his uh dreadlocks and admire him. Let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what people keep asking, man? What about J D. Younger got killed, man? So, fuck, I give a fuck, fuck. Do y'all care about um when rappers get killed in a hip hop community, or do you just be like, they ain't doing nothing for me? Like, what, what, why should I care if a rapper gets killed, uh, when they make music about slaying other people in their community? What, what do y'all think? Let's see what Charleston White has to say. I'm never sad when a rapper die, especially when he done rapped about killing. Y'all feel the same way about that? Are you sad when a rapper dies or do you not really care at all because they rap about gun toting, they rap about gunplay and it just like when one's taken out, it don't phase you at all. Let me know. Responding to people in the comments. Lil Dirk looking for you. Nigga, if Lil Dirk looking for me, I ain't hard to find. Uh, I... How would you feel if uh, someone said in the comment section of a video, one of your videos, they were like, such and such looking for you? Like, would you be like, oh, what are you going to do? Huh? Let's see what Charleston White thinks. I already know Lil Dirk ain't looking for me. But what I'm doing is I kill the image, homie, of what our people think these niggas is. Lil Dirk ain't no bad motherfucker. You think Lil Dirk is bad? You think he's he's a real street dude, or you think he's just some industry dude that uh, ain't really about that life? Let me know in the comment section below. No, man, bad motherfuckers don't have fat white baby mamas. Do you think only uh, the only bad people are the ones that don't have fat white baby mamas, or do you? <laughs> or do you think that's not true? When you look at black youngster, yeah, you know, that's a fire BMW hat. I support. I don't have people around him ain't flourishing. I seen that nigga KOD. What was it? Last New Year's Eve, nigga had a bunch of young niggas around him. He's shining with diamonds, but the young niggas around him look dirty and broke. Jay Prince is a. You think rappers should be uplifting their community around them? The people that they got around them, should they be putting them on to a hustle or something so they can get their own money? Or you think like? The having a groupie lifestyle and uh, just the crew hanging out with you is like what it should be about. Around him, he's shining with diamond, but the young niggas around him look dirty and broke. Jay Prince is a mogul, but he don't have a mob. 
and they not a mafia. You know, quote unquote celebrities checking in and things like that. I feel like a lot of people when make you go to that Houston, white boy check in. Do you think uh, hip hop culture should hold uh, white people to the same standard as uh, black people? Should they be trying to make uh, white people check in when they uh, go around to um, our communities and stuff? Should they have to check in with the local uh, gangbanger and stuff? Or do you think that whole culture aspect and everything is just pretty much foolish talk? Do you think that shouldn't be a thing? Let me know. Yeah, make the motor, make make the white boy motorcycle game. Make Taylor Swift check in. Make 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 make. I don't think anybody can make Taylor Swift check in. Make uh uh make 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 uh Chloe Kardashian check in. Uh uh make uh what's the white boy name uh on the Voice? Make every motherfucking body check in. Who is the white boy? Getting blackballed right now. You Karen. spoke out about it. Um. And it's all everybody going yeah, yeah. in on you. Uh, they didn't. Uh, they didn't blackball game when he child molested that 15, 16 year old girl that he just got sued for. That nigga fucked the baby. Hey, that's crazy. I didn't even know that. Did the game really do that? Did y'all know that? Let me know in the comment section below if you y'all ever heard that information about the game. I had never heard that information about the game. No wonder him and Kendrick Lamar don't get along, bro. Kendrick Lamar. He ain't, Kendrick, like Kendrick Lamar said, you're not like us, bro. Kendrick probably found out about that. He's probably like, you can go over there with Drake. Y'all the same, y'all the same type of people. Y'all are just alike. Y'all not like us. And got sued and lost. They had evidence and showed that game with the butterfly tattoo on his face that, that he molest children. He was a... Anybody with a butterfly tattoo on their face is a weird person. Like, who gets a butterfly tattoo on their face? Answer me. Answer that question. Imagine that. You go into a tattoo parlor and you tell them, put a butterfly tattoo on my face. Who in their right mind thinks about that? Like, you, there, there's got to be some weird meaning behind that tattoo that I don't want to know. He's a pedophile and he's walking around with a... Hey, hey, hey. His chest still stuck out, hollering, and everybody still love him. You tell me what you know, Jay-Z. No, nigga, I don't want to know a month. Give me that 500000 I know what to do with this here now. Hey, would you know what to do with $500,000? Let me know in the comment section below. What would you do if you were offered $500,000 instead of dinner with Jay-Z? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you do with the $500,000? Let me know. I know what to do. Fuck his conversation. How was Nipsey Hussle negative? Oh, uh, I'm gonna turn all these bitches into lesbians. Do you think that's something that, uh... Oh wait, it gets even better. The key moment arrives when Charleston White unleashes his ultimate trolling move, leaving the everyone online in stitches and us in tears from laughing so hard. It's a moment you won't Believe until you see it for yourself. That's a crazy statement. I'm gonna uh, turn out. Let, uh, let me, I'm gonna turn all these bitches into lesbians. That's a crazy statement. Nipsey really said that. I don't know, bro. I ain't. I wasn't really a big Nipsey fan, but like, I don't think that's a. I don't think that's a um. Something you should be proud of. Um. I think you're you're doing something wrong in the bedroom if if you're turning them to the other side. I mean, you were that terrible that they didn't want to be with men anymore. In my mind, that's what that means. Let me know in the comment section below. Would you be proud if the girl you left and broke up with no longer dates men? I'm going to turn all these bitches into lesbians. Not my daughter. Facts. Not my daughter. Not my niece. No, not my niece. He promoted 60s. He even say, I know it's wrong, but who am I to say it's wrong? Nipsey promoted 60s. Right? I'm a 60 for anything, cuz. No, big bad motherfucker. In the end, the trolling incidents took a hilarious... Showcasing the sheer entertainment value of Charleston White and such interactions he has online. It's moments like these that remind us why we love diving into the world of internet shenanigans.
if you've enjoyed this roller coaster ride of emotions, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe for more, more gut busting content. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. Your feedback keeps us going. See me tuber out. Peace.